SAP have just released the the new service pack, uh, SP14 of 7.5. And one of the new features that have been added into this is the testing application. The testing application allows you to run tests uh, where you fetch data from a production system, for instance, and then run them locally on your uh, PI system. Um, it requires uh, Service Pack 14 to, to run test, but you can fetch messages from older systems uh, or 731 systems. Um, in some cases, you'd need to apply a patch uh, to be able to, to download these messages. It also supports downloading of uh, test cases from older systems. So once you got it installed and I have connected, you can add new test systems. And if you have the right uh, authorization, QA, so we'll create a QA system. We'll select what type of system it is, what release it's running. And then we need to create an HTTP uh, destination on that specific system that we want to use. And then we just create it and we can reuse this. How do we want to connect and authenticate uh, with the system? If you want to create a new test case, we simply just go in here, select what type of uh, test case it is, uh, and target. This is the invoice. We will select that it's just coming from this system, and we will select which object we want to record, and this would be this one, this invoice, and where we want to send it. It's also just on the same one. But these could obviously be different. So we'll just say here invoice. So the same one. So we're doing the mapping here between production and our QA system. So now we have created a new test case for these things and we can then add uh, test data. And the way we do that is simply just to, to write we want to create this test data where we want to fetch the test data we can select which icos we have uh, a duration we just get 10 messages more than 10 so you can specify the date rate so you're getting the the right messages the only requirement is that the messages should have configured locking for both uh, of all three steps on the locking uh, screen so if i have it right here you must have switched the locking on to all three or have changed the global locking setting uh, to lock all messages. We will then select all of these and then it will process and it may take a little while to download all of these messages. So now it have downloaded all the different messages and it didn't take that long to a few seconds here. Um, then we want to run this and, and see what, how it actually works. Uh, we can specify if there are any elements that we want to ignore in this. Um, so we can set up an next path here to, to ignore this element. Uh, for the headers, we also have option to, to specify that we don't want to look at the specific header name because it's not important for the test. Uh, and if there's messages that's being split, we have the option here to specify this is how the correlation works. Um, so this is what the test case would look like. Now, if you want to run this, we simply click up here, say launch configuration. Uh, oh, we want to say launch configuration. We want to create a new uh, invoice. We can select which data set, and you, if you have multiple, you can select it from here, where it should run them, if it should send them to the receiving system or not, uh, if it's synchronous and asynchronous, I guess it will figure that one out. If we then run this, it will execute this, and here it will send the messages into the, the, the system, and I think here it's using its, its own internal uh, system for it. And then we can see it's it's running, and uh, it will take a little while. So now it's run. It has sent the th messages in. We can just have a look at what has been run. We can see it has sent ten messages in. 
got some 10, 10 messages out so we can see the, the job here and what we then want to do is we want to run the verification of this to actually see what is happening and when we do this we can see that it yeah it will send all these messages through um, or do a comparison with the expected result compared with the testing result and we will see that there are some errors here so we can view the results of this we can see there are some differences so we ran 10 test cases we found some differences we can show all the differences so on all of these different documents there were a difference in this element and I like this that we can just in one view see where are the actual errors and then we can go into see the specific date that was changed in this one and we see this is just a date so you can take this X path and then you can put it into the testing case test case and then next time you would run it you would not see this um, so I hope this gives you an idea about what the SAP test tool can do and uh, what it cannot do. If you want uh, to, to experience a different test tool, try out the FIGAF uh, testing tool. We have made a tool that actually makes it a lot easier to, to run tests, set up test cases and does a lot more comparison. Uh, otherwise, uh, check out our blog on this topic. Thank you.